can the Supreme Court's December deadline uh, to phase out the old notes be feasible? Well, uh, my take is very simple. I don't think Nigeria should get unnecessarily agitated by the December 31 deadline. The essence of the deadline given by the Supreme Court is that Nigeria should have access to currency notes. What the experience of the last several weeks has demonstrated forcefully is the possibility of the coexistence of the old and new currency, uh, the new currency notes at the same time. Remember that at the peak of the scarcity, uh, many analysts pointed out the experience of other countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, where old and new currency notes have coexisted for several years in some instances. If you go to the US today, some of the currencies that were phased out in 86 are still in circulation. But once they are taken to the bank, they are not given out again. Now, what is likely to happen is that the old notes uh, will start getting withdrawn uh, once there are enough notes in circulation. I'm sure that uh, even the Supreme Court will not be necessary to continue until we have enough of these notes in circulation so that there will be a gradual transition that will be seamless and will be painless for the people. There's no need for us to get agitated and insist that by December 31, uh, that the, what they call it, that the old notes must uh, be phased out. In any case, the purpose of the currency note is to be a means of exchange. And as long as the old ones are accepted and are being accepted by the people as legal tender, I think we're in good hands. Uh, hopefully, I believe that great progress will be made during the next couple of months uh, to ensure that by December we'll be on. But if it is not even ready, I believe that it's, it's okay for us to continue using the old notes and the new notes until we can easily face them out without stress for the people. All right, so many have said uh, the Nari redesign was a policy somersault, especially looking at the back and forth uh, banters on it. Let's hear your comments. Let's get your thoughts on this. Well, I'm always wary of drawing conclusions without the benefit of all the factors uh, that led to the policy formulation. No policymaker, no policymaker goes out of his way to design policies that will fail. No policymaker goes out of his way to design policies that will make life for the people more difficult than they are currently. So let's get that clear. At the point of designing a policy, some factors may not be clear to the policymaker that will bear on the implementation. That does not suggest malicious intent on the part of the policymaker. What we should note is that policies are not cast in stone. And so policies are subject to review. So the question of policy somersault does not apply. Because if you're a policymaker that fails to review a policy that is not working, then you have failed the people. So policies are meant to be reviewed based on the lived experiences of the people. Indeed, any policymaker that fails to review a policy that is not working or that is not working as designed should, be, should have its position reviewed. Uh, even the Nigerian constitution is subject to review, much less a policy. So whether to call a policy somersault uh, is maybe a little bit uncharitable. I think what you have is a policy review that is always part of the policy making process in any, develops, uh, in any society that wants to develop. All right. Uh, now let's hear your recommendations just before we let you go. What are you recommending uh, the way forward? Well, the way forward is very simple. Like I said, now... There is nothing wrong, and what I would suggest is that we keep using the two notes, the old and the new currency notes, simultaneously until the old ones, until the new ones are enough in circulation, such that when the new, when the old one is taken to the bank, they are gradually withdrawn and not returned to the, uh, uh, not returned to the public until such a time that everything is phased out. Until then, we should continue using the two notes simultaneously. But the central bank and the security printing and meeting should take aggressive steps to produce more notes for the use of the people because we knew the amount of money that was withdrawn from circulation and we should be able to print enough, if not to 
meet the exact number that was withdrawn, but at least will be close to it so that the economy will not suffer needlessly. All right, uh, Professor Shola Akiriade, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.